right, so for the next seven, hi Leo, so for the next seven days, I'm seeing where the seven of wands, you have some um, competition, you have um, something that you're manifesting or working on, something that you're overcoming, something that you're working on revealing, something that you're setting up, some type of assignment. All right, um, something is supposed to be helping you to set yourself up in some way um, to, to something that you're resolving here too. This may be about your money, um, something about poverty and prosperity here. Are you fixing something, setting something straight? Maybe you're the one that is breaking generational curses here, Leo, because you like, like are you were struggling to be the different one in your family. You may be the black sheep here. You may be different or some type of an outcast here because you decide that you want to heal and do better for yourself here. And I feel like people know in your family, they sometimes ridicule you, challenge you, come try to come up against you, shame you, but you're strong in spirit than they thought. I also feel physical wellness and physical beauty here. You have strong genes maybe in your eyes. Maybe you should do some type of a genes test, right? Um something about your eyes here leo you have a competition around you people are um people are intimidated of you maybe because of the work that you do or how people take to you people are attracted to you and um like you're all like you put yourself out there so it makes people feel like if anything should come up you're going to get chosen over them because you have like something like higher ethic work ethics or you're brave, you're powerful, you're confident, you're willing, you're able, you got what it takes. And they're like some, some other people that put out minimal effort, they are afraid that you're gonna get chosen. So someone may be feeling like um jealous of you because they um they're evil and you because they feel like you um you're putting out some work, you know? All right, let's say you work you work with wherever with a group of people and um you are the one that is really interested in doing your best work, you're, all, you're on time, while the others, they laze around and they complain about the work and you have to call them to come do the work. So, of course, if the boss comes, the boss is going to choose you. So, you have these people around you that are grumbling like, what well, you got to do so much? And then you, the, there's some that are saying, um, some that know in their intention and in their bad mind and evil eye energy that, if anything should happen, because the boss is going to favor you. And they know that you're going to get the favor just because you put out the work. You know what I'm saying? They're not putting out the work, you know. I don't even want to talk about it because it may be upsetting. Because they're not putting out the effort to be chosen. You're the one that is really willing and able. You have, you're aspiring for more. You want people to, you want a promotion. You want more. Um, but these people, they come and they just laze around and they complain and they're not interested. They're not putting in the work. They just do work when you tell them and then they barely do it. And then they're still jealous of you that if, if, because they know that you're the hardest worker. So if someone is going to get chosen for a good position, they are, they, this one person in particular is thinking they know it's going to be you. And so they feel a little bit jealous about that. And they're not doing the work, you know. They probably don't even want the position. They just know that you're putting out a lot of effort. It's just so strange that people feel this way. But anywho, we have the we have the Spirit of Cups. So your ancestors are here, Leo. Yeah, with the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Like people that would even try to go behind you and betray you, to lies on you, try to get you to, to mix, mess up, to sabotage you just so that you don't look as hardworking or as um, of a potential so people like trying to work against you look the page of swords competition and the seven of swords the page of swords and the page of cups but it's not gonna happen eight of cups it's really not gonna happen um go to the water go to the river go to the moon energy talk to your ancestors ask them what you can do they're gonna tell you to clean up your energy something about higher standards cleaning up your energy is gonna help you yeah look clear psychic you're a clear volume, clear audience, clear sentience, breath work. Cleaning up your energy is going to set you apart from these people. They're going to see you, but it is as if they can't even touch you. You're in a different 
frequency than them. You may be working with them, but they and they want to talk to you. They want to evil eye you. They want to look at you. But for some reason, they can't explain why. One time, they could jeer at you. But for some reason, this time, they, you're just out of their league. Yeah, so clean up your energy to stay outside of your competitor's league. You're going to start. One, look, the Ace of Swords are not playing. So go to the water side and pray. I hear monkey. Because you've maybe been feeling a little bit stressed right now to let let go some of your burden. I'm not sure if someone was trying to put a, curse you or put a spell on you. Yeah, someone that was jealous on, of you. This card says revenge massacre. Like they wanted you to be tired and or lackluster, you know, two of swords. But that is not gonna happen because your ancestors are with you, Leo, and they're answering your prayers. Trust the moon energy. So someone in your family could be a moon sign. Spend time with yourself. Be yourself. Be brave. Be yourself and be by yourself. Okay, or be at least be with people who feel like you. So when you're with these people, you feel like you're with yourself. You're not feeling out of zone. You're not uncomfortable. You're not going out of your way to please people. You don't feel like you're just tolerating low vibrational people who are competing with you. People who are lazing around. People who all they do is sit around and neng neng and talk and don't really want anything. Why do you have like those kind of people around you? Is the energy. They lower your vibration. They drain you. They low. They, it's like they lower your frequency. It gets to you. It gets to your mind. You want high con like intellectual conversation, progressive conversations. You want people that are going to talk about opportunities around you. And if you don't know this, this is what your ancestors are telling you. Move wisely, right? Because these people, they think you and them are the same. They think you should be lazy. They think you're nothing. You know, so when they see you trying to do something different, they're like, they try to laugh at you like, haha, who does he think that he is? you know haha <laughs> like you're nobody it's like they want to tell you to stay your nobody self right where they are because they, they're gonna show you that you would ask you read the three of swords i'm telling you so be mindful be mindful of like enemies any me that um trip you up before you know it you decide you don't want to go after your dreams anymore you know you try something and it fails and it was this person that set it up to fail and then you'd have given up no way jose yeah some and this person then they would have thought to like take your place i'm also seeing love for you and some type of a broken heart situation in love here it may be restored by you following your heart going to the water side i see something powerful coming in christ consciousness you awakening your third eye awakening your vigor coming in you coming back to life there's a woman that you love or a woman that loves you so very much leo the two of cups and the queen of cups the page of cups there's a lot of love here this is maybe your comfort zone your place of comfort this is also something on your mind so leo i feel like you're getting bigger and stronger more aware of yourself you're maturing you're becoming fuller more full of yourself self-aware more conscious this is a blessing from the most high because you've done something that took discipline, courage, strength, and power. Maybe it's how you stood alone, some type of a change that you made in your life. There's going to be some evidence of how it is actually helping you. You may lose people around you, but the Most High is going to replace those energies. So don't worry about it. So it's going to be replaced with other people or other energies that you're supposed to be, things that you're supposed to be doing. So like God, with the page of Ace of Sword is saying, like, I'm going to give you a greater reason or a greater purpose. You know that energy? Yeah. So maybe you find yourself doing something completely different. And you're waiting. But you may be feeling like you don't want to wait in vain. You want a new start or you want something to start now. You want what is yours now. So you may be waiting for some prosperity, some money. It's about to come. Seven of diamonds is prosperity. This is a promise from the Most High. You are actually naturally talented too. When you get these gifts come in, you're going to need to figure out how to multiply them. Use your talents, use your money, help grow them, water them, nourish them. You know, eat them in some way. Like don't eat all of your money, but somehow nourish yourself. Take care of yourself. Use up your money because money is energy. So you can expand energy and you can use energy. So I'm feeling like you're getting permission to consume and you're getting permission to develop and to grow. 
um, to invest in yourself. I feel like someone is going to choose you, Leo, um, like, bef like before you know it or something like that. Someone is going to show up. You're probably going to be at work or at home working and you're going to be seeing someone show up like you haven't seen this person in a while or something like that in the next seven days. So I'm going to leave these here. Thanks for tuning in, beautiful soul, and I'll catch you in the next one. Watch out for weather. Pray, like I say, meditate. You're get, If you feel that pain in your heart space, you're just learning more about you. All right, take it easy out there. All is well, all is within you. You liking the video is super helpful, so please do so. Thanks.